Hemophilia is a disorder which causes blood to clot abnormally. It can also cause internal bleeding, especially around joints. Hemophilia is almost always inherited, meaning it is passed on from parents to child. Hemophilia is a recessive sex-linked trait. These are traits that are carried on the X chromosome. Females have the genotype XX, so they inherit two copies of the gene, one from each parent. Because males have the genotype XY, they inherit only one copy of the gene, always from their mother. We can see how this happens using a pedigree chart, also called a family tree. In a pedigree, phenotypes are shown. Males are represented with a square, females with a circle. If a shape is colored in, the person has the phenotype. If the shape is not colored in, the person does not have the phenotype. If the shape is half colored in, the person is called a carrier. If a mother is normal and the father has hemophilia, no children will have hemophilia, but the daughters will be carriers. If the father is normal but the mother is a carrier, there's a 50% chance the son will have hemophilia. Hemophilia is sometimes called the royal disease. Queen Victoria in the mid to late 1800s was a carrier. She passed this trait on to her daughter Alice, who passed it on to her daughter Alexandra. Alexandra married the Russian Tsar Nicholas and gave birth to a hemophiliac son, Alexei. They were so preoccupied with their son's health, the monk Rasputin was allowed to take power, leading to the Russian Revolution in 1917. Today, hemophilia is treatable and those afflicted rarely die. Treatment starts at birth with injections, prescription medications, as well as joint therapy. With proper treatment, hemophiliacs can lead full and relatively normal lives.